Hey friends, it's Julie and welcome to your lower body workout. So today I have a very knee friendly workout for you. All you're going to need is a glute resistance band, ankle weights, if you would like to bump things up a bit. And I'm also going to be using my stability ball for just a few of the exercises, but if you don't have one, you'll also be able to do those exercises on the floor. So what we're going to do is a series of standing exercises with our resistance bands on. Then we're going to go to our stability ball and we'll finish up with our ankle weights on the floor. Are you ready to do this? It's going to be fun. We're going to burn out the lower body and this should be easy on your joints. Of course, at any time if there's an exercise that does not feel good for you, swap it out for something else or you can modify at all times. Are you ready to do it? Let's get warm. We're going to start with some step touches. Here we go. So we're just going to get warm quickly here and then we're going to jump into this workout, burn out the lower body. I just want you to take some big step catches here and really we're just wanting to get a little warmth going in the legs, warm the body up so that we're ready to do this. Okay, what I want you to do is take this into some heel digs to the front. So heel dig to the front. to a high knee march. Here we go. Pull it up and up. Just pulling the knee up as high as you can. A few more and we're going to take these two front kicks. In three, two, one. Here we go. Kick it to the front. Kick it to the front. You just want to get a little bit of mobility going in the hips. While still working on the hamstrings, getting them warm. It doesn't matter how high your leg goes. We're just getting some mobility here. Okay, we're going to go into hip openers. Here we go. Up and around, other side. Up and around. So I want you to work through the hip socket. Up and around, two more. Last one. And go ahead and put your heel down, lift your toe, sit on back. We're just gonna get a quick little stretch here for those hamstrings and calf muscles. We're gonna work all parts of our legs. Really good today. Let's switch, other heel out, lift the toe, sit on back. Okay, come on up, have the feet pointed forward. Then I want you to swivel your hips and stick your glutes out to the side and sit back. We're gonna get a little stretch for the outside of the glutes here. And so really what you're thinking is, is that you wanna push your glutes way out to the side so you stretch out the outside of that muscle. Let's go to the other side. So swivel your hips, sit on back, and push that glute out. Like you wanna shut the door with your glutes. All right, come on up. Are you ready to do this? Grab your resistance band, get a sip of water before we get started. Okay. Now I'm gonna use my medium resistance band. And the reason I'm going with medium and not heavy is because we have a series of exercises and we won't have a lot of rest. <laughs> so in order to be able to make it through the entire set without stopping, I'm gonna go with my medium band. You can go with a heavy band, you can go with a light band. Whatever you want to do for challenging yourself, this is what I feel good about. Now, tip for the entire time, no matter what exercise we're doing, is don't let the knees roll in. So see how my knees are going in? I want you to open the knees at all times and push against the band. But I don't want you to be way out here where you're teetering on the edge of your feet. Because the feet need to stay flat and your knees are just open where they're staying in line with your toes. Okay, very important, we don't want to roll in or too far out, that puts a lot of unnecessary stress on the knees. This is how this is gonna work. For this series, we are gonna go from one exercise to the next. We're not gonna do much in the way of resting. I know, it's a burnout series. <laughs> so, I will let you know as the next exercise is coming up what we're going to do. We're going to be at each exercise for one minute. 
I know. Now, what we have is step touches between each exercise. So we will step touch for a minute, and we'll go into a specific exercise on one side of the leg, we'll step touch again, we'll go to the other side. We're gonna really do a lot of step touches <laughs> with our band on. So we're gonna really burn out the glutes. So with your step touch, you're just gonna fight that band, okay? So the first series we have is step touch, then we're gonna focus on one leg. You can hold up a wall or a chair if you need for balance, and we'll be gluteless. All on one leg. Then we'll switch. All on the other leg for a minute. We'll go back to our step touches. Yeah, we'll have lateral leg lifts. We're just, we're gonna have it all. Okay, so make sure you keep a slight bend in your knee, and I just want you to use your space. Step touch as big as you can. Are you ready? Really excited about this. Chest stays open, core stays in. Okay, this is hugely important. It's gonna help your lower back. And no folding in half. Okay, we're up, we're just in a little bend. Here we go. Step touch it up. So we're right here for one minute. And we're just finding a band. Now, if you have a heavy band, your step touch is probably gonna be a little smaller. That's totally okay. If you have a lighter band, you might be able to take a much bigger step touch. That's great too. The goal is just to fight against that resistance and just push it out as far as you can. I love my heavy band for very specific exercises. When I'm doing step touches, I kind of like the medium because I like to be able to get resistance while taking a very large step. That's just my personal preference. If you want to go for it, really kill the legs with the heavy band, do it. Do it and comment down below and tell me how it felt. <laughs> So we have 10 seconds left, then we're gonna do glutes all in one leg. Doesn't matter which leg you start with. Are you ready? Here we go. Glute lift, lower. So chest stays lifted, so we're not way down here, okay? Chest is up. And we're thinking of squeezing the top of the glutes to lift the leg. And we wanna fight that thing. Our standing leg has a slight bend in it support our body. You're going to feel it in your standing leg also. And you just want to lift that leg as high as you can. Really get a contraction right there in the glute. How's it feeling? Okay, five seconds and we're gonna switch legs. Here we go. And lift. Now after this minute is up, we'll go back to the step touches. We'll be there for a minute. Five more seconds, and we're gonna do a lateral leg lift all on one leg. 
Here we go. Lift, lower. Now, knees and toes pointed forward, okay? We're not turned out or parallel. And we still want to stay upright. So what I mean is we don't want to be way over there, okay? We're upright. We're just asking and focusing on the glutes. We're asking the glutes to work. We're focusing right there in the outside of the thigh, the hip, the glute. Just a slight bend in that standing leg so that we don't lock out the knee. All right, I'm getting warm. Long sleeves might have been a mistake today. When we're look, working lower body, heart rate gets higher. You can mark going on our body. This muscle is huge. So it's a lot more effort to work them. That's often why people don't love leg day, because it's more effort. It's harder. It's so good, your legs are so important to use them all the time. And let's switch. Other side. Ooh. So there's gonna be a little, a little pain in the standing leg too, because it's having to support your body. So you might feel it real fast in the standing leg for this section. Now after this, we'll go back to step touches. <laughs> then we're going to go into a quad lift. So I'm trying to hit all angles of the legs today without squats and lunges. I know so many of you um, don't feel comfortable with squats and lunges. They bother your knees, things like that. And so I want to give you a way to work all areas of your legs without squatting and lunges. In my own personal workouts, I do a lot of them because I love squatting and lunges, but they don't cause any problems in my knees. Um, but I know that that can be a big source of problems for people, and I just want them to be able to still get strong legs without squatting and lunges. Are you ready? Step touch. Okay, we're here for a minute. Now, after this minute, we're in our last little section of this standing leg work. We're going to get the quad. And what we're going to do is we're going to be one leg at a time, lifting that leg as high as we can, and then lowering it down slowly to the front of us. How are these step touches getting? Are you still taking as big a step as you can, or are your legs starting to get a little fatigued? And sometimes, as we're getting tired, we'll kind of just slowly start lowering the amount of effort we're giving. It's totally normal. But when you feel that happening, remind yourself, I'm here to work it out. I'm here to get stronger. And then put that pep back in your step and put that energy in there. Are you ready? Rest. Okay, so you're going to lift, lower. You can have a wall or a chair or whatever for balance. And you're just lifting your leg straight to the front, lowering it back down. If it feels like a little bit too much for a straight leg, go ahead and do this with a bent knee. So just a knee lift, that's great too. Either way, you'll be working the quad. And we're just lifting as high as we can to fight against that band. Seconds, we gotta go the other leg. Woo. Are you ready? Let's switch. Okay, we have one more set of step touches after this, and then we're gonna be using our stability ball. So there's a couple of exercises. You're also going to get a little hip flexor work here too. So if you feel a little bit up by the hip bone, that's because we're working that piriformis, giving it a little extra work here today, and then also down into our quads. Ready? Set the 
into that. Oh, it's your last set of step touches. You can do this. Make them your best. Now I want you to keep your legs wide enough apart that they're pushing against that band so that we have that resistance. And really squeeze, 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 and then you release it. Squeeze, 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 then you release it. And you know, you can get a really good workout without much equipment at all. We're just using a resistance band here. And my muscles are shaking because I am squeezing as hard as I can. So even without adding a weight, I am challenging these muscles. And you can always add a weight to an exercise like this. I do most of the time. But also, sometimes I just love this body weight with just a resistance band. And rest. Okay, come on down. You are going to do a donkey kick, either on the floor or on the ball. I love it on the ball. I just feel like... Um, First, the lower back. So what you're going to do is put that tummy on top of the ball and we are going to lift it up. Just like that, okay? So what we're going to do, all on one leg, and then we will move over to our side and we will clamshell. If you're doing this on the floor, you'll do your donkey kick on the floor and then just go to your side. Are we ready? Okay, hands and knees. Checking the time. And let's dump the kick, shall we? Up, down. Squeeze it to the top. Now I like to think of my footprint going to the ceiling so that I lift straight up, come back down. We 
10 more seconds. Then we're gonna go into that clamshell. And here we go. So come to your side, sink your hip into that, stack the knees, and let's go. Open and close. It's a little more challenging on the ball than it is the floor. So you're gonna fight some gravity. But you just wanna make sure your hips are stacked, your knees come together and we keep their feet together. We're not opening the feet, we're just opening the knees and we wanna squeeze the glutes at the top. still keep the core lifted. So belly button up towards the spine. You're not sinking your weight into the ball. Okay, so the ball is there, but we're not like sinking into it. Okay, if you can see the difference, my arms are still straight. I'm not really putting pressure on the ball, but it does, the ball there reminds me to keep my core lifted. When we do donkey kicks on the floor, we often just let our belly hang. <laughs> and we all do it. But that's not really helpful for our lower back. Having a ball here with that, you know, just like that little big thing in our way to let us know like, hey, I'm right here. Don't sink into me, push away from me so that you keep your core lifted, help support your lower back. But we're not laying on the ball. And rest, okay. So other side of these clamshells. Put your side in there. Feet stacked, no stacked, ready, let's go. Open, close, and move my band up just a little bit. And also here, I'm on my side. I'm not sinking into the ball. It's there, and my weight's against it a little bit, but I'm not laying into it. So see that difference? My arm is straight, and I'm still pulling my core in. And the ball's offering me a little support, but I'm not laying on it. Now the big thing with quad lift is this 
it's not acceptable friends. I need you to sit up tall. In fact, you can put your back against a wall if that helps you and hold on to your knee, keep your chest tight to your knee so that you focus the work right there in your quads. And trust me, you're gonna really feel it. Okay, so are we ready for this? We've got our rainbow leg lifts. Make sure you're not gonna hit anything. And I just want you to open and close. It doesn't matter if your toes are pointed or flexed. Here we go. Okay, you have 30 more seconds. Remember, we're going for 90 seconds on this one, where you're just going to smoke those legs. This is honestly my favorite, especially with ankle weights, because I have noticed so much more definition in my inner thighs from doing this exercise. You gotta fight gravity and those ankle weights, man, they just bring fire and rest. Okay, come on up. Now, you're going to sit tall, pull one knee in, and hug that knee so that your chest and your back stay lifted. Okay, so straight back, open chest. We're going to lift 30 seconds on one leg, then we'll switch into 30 seconds on the other, and then we're going to open the leg and do the same thing in a turned out position. So right now, kneecap facing the ceiling. Okay, then when we switch, we'll have the kneecap to the side. Okay, are we ready? Let's go. This is so hard with the ankle weights. And you can take the ankle weights off of this if you want because it'll be a challenge by itself. You can also keep your hands here if that helps keep your back up. I find that if I pull my chest like towards my knee, I have, a, I, I'm better at keeping that straight back. One more. Let's switch. Pull that knee in. Here we go. Now this leg is a little easier for me. It's a little bit stronger. So the funny thing is, the leg I did first is a little weaker strength-wise, but more flexible and more balanced. So I can balance longer on that leg. I can have more flexibility. But strength-wise, the leg I'm lifting right now is my stronger leg. Are you ready? Come back to the front leg. Rotate open. So ankle in the knee, inside of the knee in the knee. Are you ready? Let's go. So it's just a slight rotation so that you're a little bit turned out. And we're going to hit the inside of the knee, the inside of the thigh, and the inside of this section of the quad. You have four quadricep muscles, so we're going to hit the inside and get a little inner thigh, and get this muscle that runs down past your knee. Almost there. Switch. Okay. Bring that knee in, and rotate that one open. We're getting close, you guys. We can do this. These five pound ankle weights feel like a hundred pounds. <gasps> They're so heavy. And rest. Okay, take those off. You're gonna do a quick burnout and you're done. You don't need any equipment for the burnout. What you need is a wall. We are gonna do a wall sit. Sorry about that, that was really loud. Okay, so you can find yourself a wall or a door. We're going to do a minute wall sit. 
Ball sets are hard, yes, but I love them. They're great for strengthening your legs. You don't really need anything except a place to sit up against. Just make sure your back stays against the wall and that you don't lean forward. Okay, are you ready? So get yourself down to where your feet are hip distance apart and we want our quads to be parallel to the floor. Here we go, we're just gonna hold it. Now, the thing with the wall sit is, if you're starting out, you can be a little bit higher here and then work to lowering yourself down. You don't want to go past parallel, that's kind of hard on the knees. But your goal is to sit in a position where you're like a table, okay? And you've got your quads parallel to the floor and you just hold it. And you can start by building up. Maybe you start for 10 seconds and then you go to 15 and you keep building until you can hit a minute and then you can keep going past that. This is great for strengthening these quad muscles, but also if you push your heels and move forward a little bit, you're going to engage a little bit of your hamstrings, and it's just a good isometric hold. I, for a while, did this challenge with myself. Every day I did a wall sit, and I was just trying to increase my time, and I got up to six and a half minutes. And my legs were so much stronger by the end of that challenge, like so much stronger. And I just started at about 45 seconds. It goes, this was a lot of years ago. And then I would just, do that same amount of time for like three days. And then I would add a little time for three more days. And I just kept doing that. And then finally when I got to six and a half minutes, I was like, I don't know, how long do I really want to keep doing this? <laughs> so I just felt done with the challenge. But it was a great challenge. Okay, hang in there. You're close, you're very close. So like right now, I'm not feeling it too much because I do a lot of leg work. If this is something where like, dude, I'm done. Take a break, you can always jump back in. Very close, just hang in there. Keep that back against the wall and just hold. Feel the muscles in your legs, do you feel them? I should feel pretty strong. Five seconds. And rest. Do you wanna know how long you just did that for? Two minutes. If you hung in there with me, you did that for two minutes. Way to go. Let's stretch out the quads, shall we? Okay, we're gonna do a quad stretch. So grab the ankle. If you need to hold on to something, awesome. Kneecap towards the floor, hip bones going forward. Now, for any time you have a challenge like that, long wall sit, anything, either have a conversation with somebody, have something going on the TV that you can focus on, make sure you pay attention to your form, but sometimes it's really helpful if you're distracted in some way, because we often give up mentally before we have to physically. So for me, just talking to you through that, it really was not that hard. I mean, it was challenging for sure, but I would have given up a lot quicker if I was just sitting there watching the minutes tick by, right? So if I'm watching every second tick by, it feels so much harder. So sometimes with a plank hold, with anything else, we need something to distract us to keep our mind focused on something because our mind will want to give out before our body does. Let's switch to the other side. I found the same thing with running. I hate to run. I mean, I really hate to run. And when I was really getting into running and wanting to run because I had friends that were running, I had to keep my mind busy on stuff because otherwise like, I'd want to give up like two minutes into it. Um, so I would listen to podcasts or I would get a certain type of music on that had a beat that I could match my rhythm to, and that could keep my mind engaged because I could go physically longer than my mind wanted to go. And that can be true for anything. You know, we sometimes mentally just want to give up, even though our body could still do it. So when that starts to happen, find a way to engage your mind. And sometimes it's focusing on something or starting to think differently about the movement where your mind is engaging and you'll go a little longer. And let that go. Okay, Woo. we're gonna go back to that first stretch we did. So feet forward, slow your hips, and then just sit back and just push that hip out as far as you can. Let's stretch that out. So I hope that you had fun with this workout today. We didn't do any squatting, we didn't do any lunging, but we sure did work the legs. And any time that you need a lower body workout and something I've posted has squats or lunges, or you just can't find something, that feels good on your knees, go back to workouts you know you, that your body likes. Let's switch. I have playlists that you can go through and look for what 
you prefer, you can save them as favorites so that you can easily go back and find them. You know, it's great to have a list of things where you're like, okay, I really need a leg day workout or I really need a core workout or I really need upper body. Find some of those favorites that you know you can go back to. I have certain routines I do for myself and they don't change a whole lot. I have my favorite exercises. I know that they sculpt my arms the way I want or they sculpt my legs and I go back to them over and over because I know they work. And come on up. You did such a great job today. Thank you for joining me. I hope that you had fun. I hope that you feel like your legs got a good workout. Comment down below, tell me how you did. And if this is the type of lower body workout that you prefer, um, lower body can be really challenging to figure out how to best to fit everybody's needs because we all have different physical limitations. And so I love to hear when people say, oh my gosh, yeah, that one was good for my knees, or that helped me in this way, that way, because then I know how to um, plan future workouts and know which exercises to keep including or maybe which ones I don't. So I always appreciate the feedback and I just appreciate every time you show up to work out with me. It means a lot to me that you want to show up um, and do this with me. So have a great rest of your day. Go eat with intention.